And a very pleasant Tuesday evening to everybody, and welcome to Ridgecrest Talk. I'm Tom Heck, and Daryl Allen is my guest tonight. Daryl from the Salt Lake City area. He's a player over at Saracoso College, a pitcher, also outfielder. And Daryl, tell us about um, the difference between your hometown and Ridgecrest. Well, it's been sunny since I got here, since January, and it's been snowing in Utah lately. I love the weather out here, and baseball is kind of the same. Okay. Competitive. I know, and you're you're a pitcher, and you're also an outfielder. Now you're a center fielder, and you've played right field. You have some very very good speed. You're also about the middle of the season, well maybe before that, a little bit before, started to pitch. Now, what is your favorite position that you like to play? I play. Uh, my favorite position would be outfield, but I like being in control mm. on the mound. Okay. Let's talk about your high school background. Um, talk about your high school team. How big was your high school? And what other sports did you play? Um, in high school, I played three sports. We were a 5A school. Uh, my senior year, I got first team all region. We haven't made it to the playoffs in 15 years. My wow. senior year, we were eight and eight and made it to the playoffs and made it to the second round. And it's been a while since we've done that, and the program's pretty good now in Utah. Mm -hmm. Now, what other sports did you get to play in high school? I played basketball, football, and baseball. Oh, wow. Okay, where in football did you play? Cornerback. Okay, wow. So you're pretty active all over the place. Now, what kind of problems does weather possess in the area that you're in uh, as far as baseball goes and you guys getting out on the field for your season? Um, it's really bipolar. We're, we're playing inside for August, like August to December, maybe to February sometimes. Wow, that you can't get out some that cold, huh? Now, when did your when do your games actually start? Now, here they start about the end of February, a high school season. But how about you guys? It starts in March, first game. Oh, in March, and you go to about the middle of May then. Yes, but we play in uh, in tournaments in Vegas in February. Mm -hmm. So we try to get ahead. Mm -hmm. Now, how big was your high school? It's five A, couple. It's three thousand kids there. Wow. Okay. And about how far out of Salt Lake City were you? Um, we're right in the middle. Okay, so you're right in that metro area then. Oh, okay, great. Now I know that you, um, you know, went to high school there. Did you grow up in Salt Lake? Yes. Okay. Salt Lake is. Have you seen it? A lot of growth there over the years. Yes, and it's it's been growing. More towns, more cities are coming up. A lot less uh, open highway, huh? Yes. Okay. Now. Daryl this year has, as I mentioned, has been a pitcher, and he also pitched last week in the game against Rio Hondo, and we only have one conference win this year so far, and that was against Chafee, and Daryl was a pitcher that day. He went eight and two-thirds innings. Now, if you're not a baseball fan, that means that he went eight full innings, and he actually went eight and one-third, and he got the first out of the ninth inning, um, and you only gave up six hits that game, but you... Um, You've had a couple of pretty good out uh, performances this year. Talk about that Chafee game and what did you have going for you that day as far as your pitch selection goes? Um, when I was in the bullpen, um, my, my throwing wasn't really confident. I was throwing balls out of the pitching zone. But when I got into the game, I started feeling myself more confident in my curveball, more confident in my slider. And I trusted my catcher and trusted my whole team, and they backed me up. Mm hmm now, as far as your hitting ability goes, is that always been something you've had a priority for? Yes, like in high school, I was batting 400. I was the leadoff hitter. I'm really aggressive. I like swinging at the first fastball. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as um, as far as batting goes, now you're you're really, I think, a good leadoff man, possibly. Although you've been pretty much in the you know seven, eight, or nine spot this year in high school. Where did they have you? They had me at leadoff. Okay, to get on because you probably you're very fast, and I know you've had a couple of good extra base hits this year. And uh, let's talk about academically. What are the differences between, in your opinion, for you, the community colleges? versus your high school senior year in your junior year? Well, they expect more, obviously. In high school, they're way more lenient. In college, they're, they're kind of lenient, but they expect way more. So a lot more time demand on your times than you think? Okay. Now, are you a pretty good cook? Because, you know, we, we don't at Saracoso have a real 
what we would call a cafeteria huh. open a lot and um did your mom teach you how to cook or how uh, are you i know how to cook eggs and peanut butter and jelly that's all i really eat out here or eat fast food really but i like running a lot so okay peanut butter and jelly and <laughs> fast food okay there you go all right well Darren, before we take our first break um give us your thoughts so far of of what the, the, the foothill conference looks like you know to you and then we're, when we come back we'll talk about um region 18 which is a community college level in your area and talk about some of the schools there but go ahead and your thoughts on the foothill conference the league that we play in it's really competitive everybody can pitch everybody can hit and in utah there's really it's really like people hit more than they can pitch out here it's kind of fast pitching out here so i had to get used to you know my timing get it back and all mm -hmm. all right when we come back we'll have more with daryl allen a pitcher and also outfielder for saracoso in the baseball program right after this this is ridgecrest talk don't go away here on kzgn And we are back, and if you, those just tuned in, this is Tuesday Night Ridgecrest Talk. I'm Tom Heck with Daryl Allen. Daryl Allen, if you just joined us, uh, our center fielder, also slash pitcher at Saracosa, also plays right field and really can play a lot of different spots. But we were talking about a, a lot of different things in our first segment, but i got to ask you about, back to academics, what are some of your favorite subjects, and really what do you want to major in? My favorite subject would be math, but I'm kind of struggling that right now, but I'm still working hard at it. Um, what was the other question? The other question was, uh, as far as <clears throat> what you want to do for a major and which way do you want to go, do you think? Um, I'm, I'm wanting to get my Associates of Arts, uh, my major, undecided, but I'm about to think more of it. Mm -hmm. So you don't have any main interest right now you think you want to do for a four-year? Not right now. Okay. Um, what about as far as uh, uh, your athletic career goes? I know you'd really like to try to play after your junior college days, wouldn't you? Yes. Okay. Now, where would you see yourself playing at the four-year level? What kind of position would you see yourself maybe as more of an outfielder, a designated hitter, um, or maybe a, a relief pitcher? What, do you, what would you think? I'd see myself more of an outfielder. I like to hit. I'm really scrappy. I would, I would get my team back into it for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's talk about um, Saracosa baseball this year. What are some of the main issues you think that we've had to try to overcome to be competitive? And if you could put your, you know, put the band-aid on one or two things to try to fix something, what would they be? Um, just mental errors. I feel like all of us we think too much when we're on the field. I feel like we just need to, you know, relax and just focus on the next play and trust it, trust one another. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as offensive goes, I think there's been some games where we've, you know, had a, quite a few base hits, and but I think one of the things that's really hurt us has been a lot of errors, hasn't it? Yes. And a lot of those errors, what I would call maybe unforced errors, where it's just maybe not really, you know, concentrating and you know putting all of our, you know, energy together, um, which has hurt us some. Also, I think. For our situation, we really don't have the leeway to make a lot of errors. We have to kind of play a perfect game in order to be competitive, and I know that we've kind of shot ourselves in the foot uh, a few times this year. And not much you can do when you're a, a head coach, and you know we can't make simple simple plays. It's it's got to be awful frustrating. But let's go back and talk about you know when you were in high school um, compared to now, as far as you being a hitter and what kind of pitch selection that you got, what, what are some of the biggest differences between the pitchers and pitches you saw in high school versus now? In high school, I've seen more fastballs. Now in this conference, I've seen way more breaking balls, sliders that are like high 80s. It's hard to pick up. So a lot more different variety of pitches? Yes. Now what are some of your favorite pitches? What are your outs and preferences? If, uh, if I'm hitting, my favorite pitch is fastball inside, kind of high. No, I, I kind of considered you more of a, 
finesse. You do a good job of nibbling corners. You can go on the inside corner, you can go on the outside corner. Uh, I think you do a really good job of making hitters guess and keeping them off balance. Uh, you have a good, some good motion action on your ball. Um, you can bring it up there with some velocity, but I think your strength is really um, being able to pick apart corners and to throw, to keep people off balance and throw a variety of different pitches. I think you probably would prefer umpires that give you that, give you those corners in a bigger strike zone, wouldn't you? For sure, you? definitely. Now in high school, what do, you, do you see that in, uh, as far as the umpiring goes, you getting more of those corners there than here, or how, how do you look at things? I feel like it's, I get the corners a lot, but they're tight. The umpires are really tight in college, mm -hmm. more than high school, that's for sure. Okay. What kind of a, um, let's go back to your, your area for community college baseball with the weather and everything. Now, does Salt Lake Community College have baseball? Yes. Okay. How, have they been pretty competitive? Yes. I think they're number five in the nation right now, actually, oh. in the SWAT. Okay. So do, now, do they actually start, um, uh, can they play outdoors all year, or how uh, do they no. work? They play, they practice indoors for like December, uh, February, but they have a lot of tournaments. Okay. Now, Utah Valley College used to be a community college. They're a four-year now. What kind of baseball program do they have? Oh, it's really good now. I think three years ago, they went 45-5. and five. Wow. It's coming up. Okay. And Westminster, Utah? Do oh, they? Westminster. I haven't seen them play, but... Competitive, usually? Yeah. Okay. And the other community colleges around, uh, I don't... Snow College, um, College of Eastern Utah. Do they play baseball Eastern Utah? Eastern Utah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been there. I coached basketball one time, and we played played those places. I actually interviewed for a job at Salt Lake Community one time, a beautiful campus in uh, Salt Lake City, very much a growing place. Let's talk about pro sports in Salt Lake City. Are you a big fan of the Utah Jazz? Um, that's not my favorite team, but I love going out to the games. It gets really loud out there. There's, a, there's good fans, and my favorite player on that team is Trey Burke from Michigan. Okay. Now, what about uh, the University of Utah and Utah State? What kind of baseball programs? Oh, I would love to go to Utah University. The program's coming up. I think they got new coaches in every sport. Okay. I have a lot of friends on that team. And uh, Weaver State also play baseball? Oh, yes. I haven't seen them play. Okay. Well, so a lot of different choices for people from Utah. How come you chose California? Um... I knew the weather would be great. My friend, my friend told me about this school, and I was having trouble finding another school. My first school I went to was Colorado Northwestern, and mm -hmm. I didn't have I had kind of trouble over there with my grade situation. And the coach didn't feel like he had a he didn't feel like I was going to be a good player for that team. So I, I was looking for another school in Saragossa. Gave me opportunity to play baseball again. Mm -hmm. Now I've been to. Colorado Northwestern. It's in Rangeley, Colorado, out in the oil fields of Northwestern, Colorado. And I believe the closest location to really go and, you know, shopping and things is Vernell, Utah. Is yes. that correct? Yeah. We played at a tournament there some years ago. Uh, it's very interesting. Now, they have a dorm and facilities on campus there because they're so remote, much more remote than Saracoso even. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have our third segment, so don't go away. This is Ridgecrest Talk. I'm Tom Heck. It's Tuesday night. Tuesday night's our sports theme. I'm with Daryl Allen. Daryl Allen, a member of the Saracoso College baseball team. Back after this, don't go away. And we are back. Welcome. I'm Tom Heck with Daryl Allen. And if you just ju uh, joined us tonight, our theme has been Saracoso baseball. Daryl Allen in Utah. Daryl from the Salt Lake City area has compared what it's like going to school in Utah with going to school here in Ridgecrest and the high school difference with the community college baseball in Utah, which I didn't realize was all that popular, but uh, with the weather I kept thinking it would be hard to get outside, but baseball is very competitive, high school and of course college in the state of Utah. Now the one thing that Utah doesn't have, Daryl, uh, the Salt Lake area, is professional football. Do you ever see it coming? Um, I do not think it's going to come at all. 
anytime has, soon. Has it been talked about at all? Or? Um, it's been talked about, but it's a Mormon state, and I don't think they would want uh, football on Sundays. Okay. Now, what about, um, uh, let's talk about uh, professional baseball. What about professional baseball maybe one day? Oh, I think I think they would have one one day. It's grow, it's a growing population right now, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people would come out to the games. There's a lot of people coming out for Salt Lake Bees, the uh, Angels organization. Mm -hmm. Now that's a Triple A team, or is that a? Yes, yeah, a Triple A team. Okay, and that's in Salt Lake. All right. Now, what about uh, it just Salt Lake as a whole? A uh, lot of different things to do there, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. Now, how would you compare Salt Lake with, say, um, Los Angeles? Um, I didn't think there was mountains in Los Angeles. There's a, there's a lot of mountains in Utah. In the summer, it's a beautiful scene, just like Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Well, the one thing you don't have to worry about here in Ridgecrest is driving in the snow or ice, and I know that in Utah that's a concern. Is that sometimes a problem, getting around there? Yes, it's a hassle. That's why I love being in California. I don't need a need to shovel snow in the front yard or anything at 6 in the morning. I just need to, you know get a shirt on, put some shorts on, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> no shoveling snow at all. Uh, let me ask you this, as far as, um, I know you don't have a major right now, but what, what's your work experience been? What have you done, and what do you like to do? Are you a guy that likes to work with your hands, or are you got a people guy, maybe a teacher, a salesperson? Uh, you know, what are you thinking as a 19-year-old? I'm a labor type of guy. My first job was working at a mine. I was cleaning uh, big haul trucks at Kennecott Copper Mine, and that was my first job for a couple months. Then I worked at a, a brick company, picking up bricks and putting on pallets. So I feel like I'm a hands-on guy. So you've done a lot of lifting in your yes. time then, okay. Um, well, that can, you know, I don't know how good that is for the back or not the back. Now, as far as your pitching goes, what kind of instruction and help um, are you going to try to get this summer? What are you going to try to do this summer to maybe up your game some? Uh, work on my lower half, finishing with my legs, and uh, speed up my velocity. I feel like my slider and curveball is where it's at, and yeah, I think that's all I need to work on. Is it hard to come up with a couple new pitches when you're at your age, or is it easy? Um, it is. I, I've been throwing the same stuff since I was a sophomore. When I was in uh, like 12 to 13, my parents wouldn't let me throw sliders, so I was just really a fastball type of guy. Okay. Now, as far as um, playing on a summer team, have you looked into that at all, um, anywhere? I'm, I'm still searching. Hopefully, Saracoso has one this year. Okay. And then next year, your thoughts, what, what might happen next year here? I feel like next year we'll, we'll grow better. We'll be more of, more of a team. Um, I just feel like I feel like we'll be better. Mm -hmm. Now this year again, we you know a lot of errors and things, and um, uh, we had a good nucleus of sophomores this year. This we had the infield was predominantly you know senior sophomore oriented, um, young outfield I think pretty much all underclassmen, uh, pitching staff fairly young also. So what what do you think is needed? What kind of pieces of the high and puzzle do you think is needed to be more competitive here? I feel like the freshmen here right now, we'll have, we have experience because we had a lot of playing time this year because we didn't have a lot of sophomores on team. So I feel like if anybody gets down, we'll pick them up better and we'll be more of a team next year, hopefully. Mm, okay. And as far as your you know batting goes, what can you do in the off season to try to get your batting average up, maybe to get more power? I'm going to stay in the cage, uh, hit the weight room a lot. And just keep being positive. Okay, you know I've all. I got to ask you this: during pregame, you know, when they have batting practice, um, do you think it would be more beneficial to take batting practice off of a machine versus a live arm? Because sometimes the people that are throwing batting practice are coaches, and they're throwing the ball easy as you know, just to get it over there to get maybe work on your swing, whatever it would be. What do you think would be more beneficial? I feel like it would be harder to hit off a. Hit off the coach, but if you hit off the off the pitching, mm -hmm. yeah, it would be harder. But I like to see the coach pitch because you can see their arm slot, and it's harder to see off a machine than a coach. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it sure is. All right, well, in our last few minutes here, I wanna, uh, hopefully your you know, parents will be watching and they listen to some of the internet broadcast. Uh, what do they think of you being out here? Um, they're proud of me. Um, when I was in high school, I got in trouble a lot and I, I changed as a person and I feel like they're proud of me. Okay, great. You know, your your folks pretty good baseball fans, family? Oh, yes. My dad played basketball in high school and baseball. Mm -hmm. but his true true love was basketball. Oh, okay. All right. And your true love baseball? Is basketball, but is now basketball. It's baseball for sure. <laughs> so were you a point guard or I was a point guard. Okay, well great. All right, Daryl, we appreciate you stopping by, and um, this is the last week of the regular season, and actually you're pitching on Thursday. Are you looking forward to that? Yes, I'm looking forward to getting the win. I feel like we'll beat Victor Valley out of three this time, okay. the end of the season. Yeah, it sure would be good to get, get a few more wins before it's over. All right, hope you appreciate, uh, uh, or we appreciate you tuning in tonight. We hope you'll join us again next Tuesday night. Our theme is always sports here. Daryl, appreciate your time. Thank you. Daryl Allen from the Saracoso baseball team. I'm Tom Heck, bidding you a very pleasant good evening. Don't forget about next week. We'll be on the air at 6 o'clock, Ridgecrest Talk. Tom Heck, KZGN. Mm -hmm.